What's up guys, it's Brenda J. Today we're doing a head-to-head -head battle for the ultimate treasure hunting supplies. Well, this is 2.0. We've already done this before. Our previous video, we did Dick's Sporting Goods versus Walmart, and we all know Dick's Sporting Goods absolutely crushed. Today, we're gonna be doing Bass Pro Shops versus Academy. This one honestly could go either way, but let me explain a little bit more. For years, you guys have been in my comment section asking, Brandon J, where do I get my treasure hunting gear to start off, start making videos, start having adventures? And to be honest, I've been reluctant to respond because, well, it's very expensive. It's not crazy for me to be outfitted in like five to $10,000 worth of gear in each video. It's just, it's a little much, so it's hard for me to tell you guys where to go that's like budget friendly. So we are putting ourselves to the test to go to stores that are basically nationwide that you guys have the access to, to be able to get started treasure hunting in a pretty budget friendly way. Now being that these stores aren't fully invested in treasure hunting, I'll make a deal with you guys. If we get 5,000 likes on this video, which is super attainable, I will find the best treasure hunting store in the country and go visit it and buy all of the best equipment. And you know what, we'll give that away too. So if you wanna see that, 5,000 likes on this video. Just like last time, we're gonna break treasure hunting down to three different categories. The first category is gonna be magnet fishing. You guys all know what this is. It's probably one of the most popular ones and most able to do by anyone. You take a magnet, you throw it out there, you pull it in, you see what you got. Magnet fishing, AKA treasure hunting. Now, you also have the one that's a little bit harder, a little more advanced, uh, you kind of got to know what you're doing to do this one, which is diving underwater and basically just using your eyes. We just need diving equipment, free diving, snorkeling equipment to be able to do this. And last, we've got the actual metal detector. So this is going to be on land, finding stuff that's buried, but extra points if you have an underwater metal detector like this one, because you can use it underwater or above. So you're kind of limitless when it comes to this. So with that being said, we're gonna go to Bass Pro Shops and we're gonna go to Academy and not only grade them in those three categories, but we're also gonna be buying all of the stuff that they have in those three categories and actually giving it to you at the end of this video. All you guys have to do to enter to get anything that we buy in this video is just leave a comment. It's as simple as that. And maybe shoot me a DM on Instagram so it's a little bit easier to contact you. All that's gonna be linked in the description below. It's pretty simple, but if you guys want some stuff that we're gonna buy today, which I think we're gonna buy some banger stuff because we're going to some pretty great stores, then just leave a comment, shoot me that DM on Instagram. The one, the only, Outdoor World, AKA Bass Pro Shops, AKA the place that's gonna get a lot of money from me today, not only for this challenge, but there's some other stuff I gotta do because I got some banger videos coming out and I need some quality gear. But with that being said, remember, we are going in looking for three different things. We're looking for underwater gear, metal detecting gear, and magnet fishing gear. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start it off with this boat right here. It's only $18,000. You don't need it for treasure hunting, but if you have it, it'd be great. Uh, seriously though, let's get inside. And 18,000, way too much. Not budget friendly. And ladies and gentlemen, the world's greatest store to every man did not disappoint. We have made it to the underwater section. We got some underwater toys. I mean, if you're trying to get your, your game on while you're treasure hunting, that's a good one. They do have a crucial piece of treasure hunting and diving equipment, extra points for the dive flag setup. You gotta have one of those if you're going underwater, so pretty sick. And if you're a super young treasure hunter, <laughs> We've got some uh, little goggles here and some little floaties. So maybe Tristan, maybe my boy Tristan could use those little floaties, but uh, they do have a little bit better section over here. Look familiar? Dick Sporting Goods had this same exact thing, but there is a slight problem. Check out the price. I believe it was $75 at Dick Sporting Goods and it's a hundred bucks here, which yeah, ain't great. But let's keep going along. You got your, you know, your whole different thing. Here's where things get interesting. They got full face masks, which I do not recommend. Absolutely hate those. What I hate even more than a full face is a completely <laughs> chromed out full face. It's absurd and it's $100, which is the same price as a full kit where you could get mask, snorkel, and fins. So, would not recommend this. Everything here tends to be a little more expensive. And right here, we've got the D Almighty Signature Series. So, if you guys wanna go get your D Almighty goggles, you can get them right here. No fog. Beginners, you need this in your goggles. I give her the old, but you need this. So 
I give them some bonus points because they're thinking about the small stuff now. Oh, oh, oh my God, this is so game changer. So Travis just pointed out they have freaking scooters, man. You guys can treasure hunt so fast. You can cover so much water. It is an extra piece, but it's something that is game changer in a sense. They also have these, uh, which are gonna be good. You've got your treasure hunting gloves. You guys notice we wear gloves in all our videos and they even have a treasure bag. So you're kind of covering all your bases. I mean, this one's kind of already open, but treasure bag. You just need a bag to put stuff in underwater. Mesh bag, works like a charm. Okay, it's 300 bucks. We're not buying the underwater scooter. Sorry, we are not buying the underwater scooter. I don't even have one of those, so I'm not sending out one of those. I can't believe I'm doing it, but we're gonna go ahead and get the freaking scooter. But we are gonna be giving this away, but we're gonna do another video with this. So stay tuned to the channel. We're gonna actually test this thing out and then we'll ship it to one of you guys. But we're gonna buy the $300 scooter to treasure hunt in another video. Coming up soon, but I can't believe we did. This is becoming expensive. We're, we're, we're starting to stray off a little bit, Trap. We're having too much fun. I actually have some actually nice, pressy fins. I don't know, they're kind of crushing it. I'd say nine out of 10. I, I don't wanna give out that 10 out of 10. That 10 out of 10 is for like, I mean, I'm blown away. They've got enough to get you through successfully. So I'd say nine out of 10 is fair for the underwater portion, which is, Pretty good score. Wow, Bass Pro. I did get stopped by someone trying to sell me a vacation. So you did lose half a point, but you gained another half because one of your employees was like, dude, I watch all your videos and he led us to the metal detector. So you broke back even. So um, let's get into it, man. We've got more metal detectors here than any store we've been to so far by a lot. I am. Yeah, and we have pinpointers, which we have not seen at any other store. And we have scoopers and shovels, my friend. So they've got, they've got you decked out to be a gosh dang treasure hunter in no time. Let's find the most expensive one so we can give it away to you guys. This is becoming an expensive series. I just want you guys to know. Especially after that scooter we just bought. That scooter took our that scooter took our freaking metal detector money. I'm not gonna lie to you, but we're gonna get everything. We're gonna hook you up to be the ultimate treasure hunter from Bass Pro Shops. Yeah, we're not gonna get the kids stuff. We're gonna go to like the big boy section. This thing actually looks exceptional, probably just because the actual marketing and stuff. But it does look very cool. Oh, and it's from Mind Lab, which that is where my metal detector that I use came from too. So that's probably a really good one. This one over here is five hundred dollars. <laughs> No wonder it looked so good, dude. <laughs> We're gonna spend so much money in Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> oh no, that is not great. The ultimate all terrain, $720 right here. We're not gonna get that one, but the fact that they have it, good for you, Bass Pro. This is a pinpointer. If you guys don't understand what that is, your metal detector goes zzz, zzz, and your pinpointer pinpoints and it goes da 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 when you touch the metal, basically. It just helps you find it. So uh, this is the best pinpointer they got. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna get you a shovel and we're gonna get you a scooper. Go ahead, look at it, look at it, brother. 828 freaking dollars, ladies and gentlemen. That is not including this coffee. I specifically did two different transactions because I did have to get some stuff from Bass Pro. This big giant diesel truck doesn't understand we're trying to film. What is it about diesel trucks, you know? Hell yeah, brother cousin. Either way, uh, post outdoor world interview, they absolutely killed it. They they crushed it. Magnet fishing, big fat zero, um, but they made it up. It's gonna be hard, Trav. What do you think about the metal detecting section? Let's just go ahead and talk about it. There was a lot. It was good. There was a lot. I would say so far it's definitely the best. Bass Pro Shop gets a 9.5 in the metal detecting category because they had everything. Dude, they had a 722 dollar metal detector. They had scoopers. They had pinpointers. They had everything you needed. What do you think for underwater? Nine and a half? Again? I mean, dude, they had, a, they had a scooter. We got a scooter. I'd say nine and a half. They absolutely crushed. What does that put us at? 19? 19 out of 30? And they got a major zero because no magnet fishing? So it's gonna be tough to beat. It's gonna be tough to beat. We got some really good stuff and I cannot wait to get back to the house and show you all this stuff. Remember, we're gonna be giving the scooter, the metal detectors, all that stuff away, $828 worth of stuff to you guys. Remember, all you have to do is just comment in the comment section below on this video and shoot me a DM on Instagram so I can actually like get a hold of you. Uh, it's a little bit easier to message on Instagram. But that being said, we have to go to a rival store. 
I don't think it's a fair comparison to be completely honest with you. We're going to Academy. We wanted to put Dix and Academy head to head, but it means we had to put Bass Pro Shop and Walmart head to head, which Bass Pro would have just cloppered. I'm gonna say that. So right now, we're gonna go ahead and put all this in the truck. We're gonna make our way to Academy Outdoors. And we're gonna see if they got what it takes to make you a treasure hunter better than Bass Pro does, because Bass Pro absolutely crushed it. Academy. So remember, we've got three different sections. We've got underwater stuff, metal detectors, and what was it? Oh, magnet fishing. <laughs> I almost forgot. So we got the, those three categories. We're going to go in there again and see what we can find. I honestly have only been to like two academies in my life, and I've only got like, like Yeti coolers and stuff like that. I never actually looked at their underwater section. So I have no clue what to expect here. So let's go in. Let's see what we can find. So apparently we have to be very quiet in Academy because they don't want us to film here. But we got some intel that they do have underwater stuff if it's in season because it's winter. Treasure hunting don't stop in the winter, baby. And they also have metal detectors. So we're gonna, if we film different, it's because we gotta be low key. You know what I'm saying? We're in the back corner of, of the store right now. So I'm gonna hold on to this and we'll pick this back up when we find the metal detectors and or underwater stuff. All right. Oof. Well, we found the underwater section. And let me tell you, Academy is about to take a massive hit because I can literally count <laughs> right here how many goggles they have, and they're actually all the exact same. And then they've got some earplugs, nose plugs, and that's pretty much it. They don't have fins, they don't have anything here, so they're gonna take a massive hit. We're still gonna buy a pair of these to give back to you guys, um, but it's kind of rough. I think maybe a two out of 10 is acceptable. So which ones do you guys want? The blue, the uh, multicolor there, the chrome. Boy, chrome just looks fast. <laughs> what do you think? I think we're. Go I think we gotta go with these multicolor ones, man. Those are, those are money right there. Okay, Travis is being super inconspicuous with the camera right now, <laughs> but we found the metal detecting section, and it's actually pretty good. Much better than their goggle section. Almost as many goggles as metal detectors. But we got one, two, three, three different kinds. This is their best one. Two hundred twenty-nine dollars. Two hundred thirty bucks, but it's on sale for 159 um so i think this is good i don't know well, let's talk about it outside because i feel like i got a magnifying glass on me right now <laughs> people do not want us filming in this store 191 191 dollars at academy magnet fishing is like obviously the hardest thing to find so they score a zero out of ten because well they don't sell magnet fishing stuff and quite honestly it seems like no one does yeah i mean i think they had like three different pair so i don't know it wasn't great I think two out of 10 is generous. One out of 10 is just God awful, but they weren't, I mean, they had something, but maybe when it's seasonal, maybe when summer comes back around, they'll have more, I don't know. Metal detectors though, I think they scored pretty well. Eight out of 10, maybe pushing nine out of 10. Uh, but essentially if I give them a nine out of 10, they got 11 out of 30, which ain't great. Well, we are back at the man cave the shop, the jigging headquarters, whatever you want to call it. And boy, oh boy, did we spend entirely too much money today. It was, uh, well, we got a, we, I was a loose cannon to be completely honest with you. And I'm pretty ashamed of myself, but good news is all the stuff I'm about to show you is going straight back to you guys. So I'm excited to see somebody in the near future, just ripping around on a little scooter. With that being said, let's go ahead and go to the desk to review Bass Pro Shop versus Academy, and what a lopsided battle it was. Isn't that right, Reef? He's all about, he's all about the bone. You know what I'm saying? First up, we've got Bass Pro Shops, and if you couldn't see behind the giant pile, over here is what we got for Academy. I know it's, it's like I said, it's pretty lopsided. There's obviously a clear winner here. Uh, but <laughs> Let's just show kind of what we got and the scores we're going with, and then, Normally I open everything, but I, I feel like it's, you kind of know what you're going to get. Plus if I open all this, we got to repackage it to send it out. It's, it's a lot. So let me just show you kind of some of the game changer stuff and then we'll go over an official score. First things first, Academy, please let me film in your store. It was so sketchy. I felt like a criminal. I mean, probably because we weren't supposed to, but, uh, filming in your store is incredibly intimidating. So 
You did have some good metal detectors. You had more than Dick's Sporting Goods did in our first battle, and you had way more than Walmart did. So I will give you that. I think you earned a solid eight out of 10. You had uh, some great sales on your metal detector, and we got this guy, the Lone Star Pro, which uh, was pretty expensive and even comes with headphones. I don't know what metal detectors don't come with headphones, but these got them. Uh, so you got an eight out of 10 there. Where, where you lacked a, a tad bit, other than the fact that these are a, a crazy rainbow pattern, is you lacked in your goggle department. I will give them the benefit of a doubt. I'll give you a two out of 10, and then an eight out of 10, which brings you to a 10 out of 30 Academy. We love you. Your treasure game just ain't the best. The winner of the entire series. <laughs> Bass Pro Shops absolutely slayed this. Let's be completely honest. Like they were, they were the winner by far. I mean, they've got a freaking motorized vessel to get you through the water, which we are gonna be using this in a video coming up soon, so stay tuned to that. But then we're giving it away, I promise. Uh, but we just gotta try it. I really wanna try it. Um, they had the full kit, the entire underwater kit. They had a bunch of them. They had adults, they had uh, juniors, they had, I guess, youth, adult and youth. They had uh, some high-end stuff, they had some low-end stuff. Um, they had a little bit of it all. They also had what we would consider treasure hunting gloves. Like every time we're underwater, we always wear gloves. You guys know that. They also had a mesh treasure bag, which these are like major bonus items. But what really makes them different is they thought about the little things like goggle fog. You just throw this little juice on your goggles and they don't fog up anymore, which if you're a beginner diver or a beginner swimmer or you just get new goggles, you need some juice. We call it good good. It's game changer time. The metal detecting department in Bass Pro was, how do we say this? Very fruitful. It was, it was expensive. They had a $722 metal detector there. And I don't even know why it detected metal better than the others, but we still got a very expensive one. And we've got all the odds and ends like a pointer, which this, this pin pointer is like, you need this. If you're gonna metal detect, that tells you about where the metal is. You start digging, this pinpoints it. This lets you know exactly where it's at. So you need both of these. And this is the only store out of all four that we went to that had one, which I was blown away by. They were also the only people with a scooper. So you, you, know, you, you dig and you sift, and then hopefully your metal is in there. That's why you have a scooper. And they were also the only people that had a shovel. You can see it's designed quite well. And if you have other treasure hunters come, it's got a point where you can just, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, in all seriousness, they had basically the best get started, go treasure hunt kit as far as metal detecting goes. In my opinion, you got a nine out of 10 in the underwater, maybe even a 9.5. I would only give you a 10 if you had all of the name brands or whatever, and that's hard to get. 9.5 uh, specifically because of this thing. I mean, you're just thinking so next level, treasure bag, treasure gloves, all that. That's really good. You got a zero out of 10 with magnet fishing. Maybe think about it. I don't know. When it comes down to metal detecting, I think I am doing a disservice if I don't give Bass Pro Shops a nine out of 10. Just saying, it's an up there score, but they had so much. I mean, they had so many. They had more variety of metal detectors than all the stores we went to combined. And plus they had all the little accessories. So in my opinion, they get a nine out of 10 in the metal detecting and they get a nine and a half out of 10 for the underwater. So a total of mathematics. <laughs> so for a total of 18 and a half, out of 30 Bass Pro Shop, you have one against four stores, which means if you're a treasure hunter or you wanna get started in treasure hunting, notice how we didn't say YouTube treasure hunting because that's a whole different ball game. We said treasure hunting, which just means you wanna go out there, enjoy the water, enjoy the land, find some cool stuff that people lose and or has been lost a long time ago. Bass Pro Shops might be the place, the one-stop shop to get it all done. So uh, let me know if there's a lot of other cool stores out there that may hold stuff like this. 
we really don't know. We were just trying to pick places that were gonna be available like nationwide for all of you guys. You know, our specific gear that we use is like very specialty. You get it online, you go to this store, you go to that store. We're looking for like a one-stop shop. Getting started treasure hunting on a budget, but also being able to get some good stuff. Like there was some budget stuff, but there was like some pretty premium stuff. You guys saw, uh, it was just a video to kind of like set that tone. So if you guys enjoyed, please drop a thumbs up. Also remember 5,000 likes on this video. We will travel to the best treasure hunting store in the nation, in the entire country. We'll figure out where it is, we'll fly there, we'll film it, we'll buy some stuff, we'll give it all away to you guys. Also, don't forget, all this stuff is gonna be yours too, so comment in the comment section below uh, is how you enter, and just shoot me a message on Instagram just so I can like actually message you back. Just say, yo, I left a comment, I would really love the scooter, or I'd really love the goggles, or whatever you want. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bass Pro Shops, you're absolutely killing it. With that being said, it's gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace out.